Hi, everybody, and welcome to a, a tutorial that I think is going to be really useful for a lot of you who stream speedruns in full screen. If you're playing 16 by 9 games and you have a lot of stuff overlapping on your stream, I think we might have a solution for you, uh, or an option at least, that might make your stream a little less busy. So I love this feature. This is in OBS Studio. Uh, it's been around for a little while, and I've experimented with it a little bit. Um, but basically, look what I can do here if I uh, just press one button. You notice I have the splits on the screen. I've got my you know sub ticker and everything on there as well. But if I just press one button, they all disappear. And if I press the same button, uh, they come back. And this is a really nice uh, feature because what you could end up doing then is potentially... Uh, only showcasing your splits when things aren't happening on the screen, maybe during a cutscene, or you know, when when you would perhaps want to have them on the screen versus having to have them on the screen all the time. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's a pretty simple thing to do. First of all, uh, you got to make sure that everything that you want to show and hide is toggled to be the same thing. And what I mean by that is um, you can't have some of them hiding and some of them showing, or it's not going to work. So I want these three things to be showing. So in my sources window here, uh, the eyeball is currently set so that they're showing. So set those first so that they all match. And it doesn't matter, you know, they can be shown or hidden as long as they're all the same. Then when you're going to go into the uh, file menu here and go to settings, and then go to hotkeys. And when you go to hotkeys, you're going to scroll down to your uh, scene. This is going to list all of the scenes that you have. Um, so mine here that I'm on is full screen PC. And what I did is I just picked a hotkey here. I set numpad zero. And I set it on both show and hide for each of the things that I want to be able to toggle. So I set it for my sub ticker. I set it for the background that I use on my sub ticker. And I set it for my uh, live split splits as well. So set the same key for all six of these here uh, in my case, or however many things that you want to hide on yours. And then click OK. And then it's just a matter of pressing the button. And it will take away all of those uh, things that you want to hide. So it's beautiful. If you're playing in the middle of a speed run and you want people to be able to just see the 16 by 9 game, um, you'll be able to do that with this feature, which I think is really awesome. And then maybe there's a break in the action and you want to bring the stuff back up. Well, there you go. So I hope this helped you. If you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, I'm looking to add more things. Uh, this is kind of a new uh, endeavor for me. I think I want to kind of teach people some of the streaming tips that I've learned over the years. Uh, just neat little things like this. So if you have anything in mind that you want uh, me to work on or show you how to do, um, I guess leave a comment for me in the uh, videos here. I'll try to come up with some more uh, fun stuff for you. But in any case, I hope this was useful for you, and uh, I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.